wax out. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk to you about something that happened to me really quickly. Now it's kind of really funny. It just came from my sorbing oil fix. Y'all know I'm kind of a connoisseur of this whole texture, natural texturizing situation. I do it really efficiently, really easily, really simply. And the only reason I haven't taken it to the hilt of a 3C4A transformation on my 4C predominantly 4C hair with some 3C and 3 and 4A is because I don't want to lose my texture. I genuinely love my original texture, my God-given, um, God-made texture, and I really don't want to change that. Um, and I don't want to, really, it's laziness. I don't want to wait the month to three months it would take for my hair to revert back to its natural texture. But I know how to topically and internally totally alter my texture. And I don't know, I just feel like so much time passes that I might do it out of fun. You know, I might actually buckle down and do that steady, but I just don't see myself doing that at this time because I love my natural texture so much. And I'm always doing various things with my hair course that I need to re my hair course that I need to reestablish and redo and relaunch on my website, beautybynatural.com. Remember to check out my beautybynatural.com site, the site that's all about this YouTube channel. Also check out my NajlaSafia.com site, the site is all about me being a musical artist that's currently in process and getting underway. Okay, I really, really hope you guys get like what I'm talking about. I literally felt like I was bawling because like at the scalp my hair was very, very light. It was really like what's going on. It was sparse. It felt empty as if my hair was falling out from the root. I don't know how to say. Uh, you know, it just really felt that way, but what it was is that I had been eating too much soybean oil and that had loosened my texture only at the root because it wasn't a conglomerate situation. I wasn't applying any topical treatments that I usually do when I really want to lax my curl pattern. I was just having a teeny bit too much soybean oil, but not quite enough. There wasn't a good balance on there. There was a lot of soybean oil, but I still had some like regular canola oil type meals in there so it was just not enough for it to be obvious but it was enough for it to just whack the very very root of my hair to feel like as if my hair was falling out from the root when it really wasn't it was just loosened at the roots and very um lax so it felt like where's my hair what's all this hair going on over here but when i feel inside my hair it feels like it's oh my god it's about to thin out it was the most disturbing feeling ever but yes it's because I was taking too much soybean oil I was taking too much soybean oil at the time so that's what happened it was just like a loose lax situation that went on okay so that's it I just actually increased my soybean oil intake and then it laxed all the way so it was a slight lax it wasn't like all the way to where definitely this is just soybean loosening it was just slightly enough to where I thought my hair hadn't changed, but then it was like light up in the root, so it was very, very creepy. Okay, so I'm so happy I just increased it so it got looser, and then I'm like, obviously that's the soybean oil, and then I decreased, I normalized, and then it just normalized out, it stopped blocking. So it's a very, very tricky thing when you um, consume a lot of soybean oil, so sometimes you can trick yourself into thinking that your hair is falling out if you have excessively kinky hair, because it will totally alter the texture of your hair at the root and you'll be tripped out. Okay, so that's all. Thank God it was nothing. It was absolutely nothing wrong. Okay, so it's not, it didn't happen. So I'm very, very happy about that because that would be messed up, okay? That could be a big thing to say. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next video. Later.